A warm greeting, today is Friday, October 13, 2023. This is the meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will be providing an update on the forecast associated with Tropical Storm Sean, as well as Invest 94, which is of particular interest to the Caribbean region, as global models predicted could approach the Eastern Caribbean region during the upcoming weekend. Let's start by discussing Tropical Storm Sean, which continues to struggle with strong shearing winds from the southwest and west. During today, we've observed that the circulation remains displaced to the west of the thunderstorm activity area. It is expected that this tropical cyclone will continue to weaken over the next few days and should dissipate during the late hours of Saturday night or Sunday morning. Although at the moment, Tropical Storm Sean is not of concern to the Caribbean region, we will remain attentive to its remnants in case they find favorable conditions for long-term reorganization. However, this possibility remains very low at the moment. You really shouldn't be concerned about this disturbance, although I will continue to monitor any changes in this forecast. On the other hand, we will be closely monitoring the development of a strong tropical wave designated as Invest 94. During today, it has continued to show some signs of cyclonic development. At 2 p.m., the National Hurricane Center increased the probability of a tropical depression forming to 80% as it moves west-northwest over the next seven days. As you can see, the area of possible cyclonic development suggests a general west-northwest trajectory. In the long term, it could pose a threat to the Lesser Antilles. When we look at the projections of the path specialized models, you can see that all of them agree on a west-northwest trajectory over the next 5 to 7 days. Basically, they all bring the future tropical storm Tammy closer to the eastern Caribbean region. It's important to stay vigilant about its development in the coming days. Furthermore, as I mentioned yesterday, conditions may be abnormally favorable for cyclonic strengthening if this disturbance moves through the eastern Caribbean. In fact, the intensity specialized models indicate that many of them, starting next Tuesday, begin to strengthen the future tropical storm Tammy. Some of them even classify it as a Category 2 or Category 3 hurricane by the end of the next week. However, please remember that this is a long-term forecast, and it's currently impossible to determine a precise path. We will simply be watching with caution as it could certainly pose a risk to the Caribbean next week. Let's take a look at the latest projections from global models. The GFS model continues to maintain a north-northwest trajectory, taking the future tropical storm Tammy far from the Caribbean region. The GFS model keeps it very weak over the next five days, which creates a rather broad circulation that could lead to the formation of a circulation center further north, consequently taking a path away from the Caribbean. However, as I mentioned yesterday, this is the only model currently showing this scenario. Judging by its performance in the Atlantic region this year, this forecast has little confidence. One of the indications is that the GFS model in its recent runs has continued to adjust the current intensity of the tropical wave. This is a characteristic we've seen in the formation of recent cyclones, so we understand that the GFS model is still assessing the situation and may change its forecast in the coming days. Although it would be good news if it follows the path indicated by the GFS model, there's uncertainty about this. On the other hand, we have the European model, which consistently keeps Invest 94 on a west-northwest trajectory, reaching the Caribbean region during Friday night or early Saturday morning. Although the European model has been very consistent with this path forecast, the most significant change we've seen today is that yesterday it showed a dangerous hurricane approaching the Caribbean region, while today it is just a tropical wave. This is due to the considerable uncertainty about how strong the shearing winds will be in the Caribbean region if Invest 94 approaches. We simply need to observe with patience. Remember that changes in forecasts beyond 5 or 6 days are entirely normal. Other models, like the German model, show a hurricane developing northeast of the Caribbean. The trend in this model is to maintain a path further northwest than previously projected. If this scenario unfolds, it would be good news as it could pass just northeast of the Caribbean. The Canadian model aligns with the European model's forecast. In this case, it has a strong tropical storm or Category 1 hurricane reaching the Lesser Antilles during the Friday morning. In general, you can see that there's a lot of uncertainty. There are different scenarios, from one in which it could take a north-northwest path away from the Caribbean, and the other, as shown by the European model, with a more westward trajectory, possibly threatening the Caribbean region. At the moment, I am leaning towards following the European model's projection due to its excellent performance this year and the consistency it has shown in recent runs. The uncertainty about the exact location of the circulation center continues to be seen in the ensemble members of the GFS model, where there is a wide area of possible center locations for the coming weekend. Some members have a trajectory far northwest of the Caribbean region, while the members that take longer to strengthen this future cyclone bring it closer to the eastern and northeastern Caribbean region. 
The ensemble members of the European model also show different scenarios today. Some members have a scenario in which it passes northeast of the Caribbean, while others have a more westward trajectory, reaching the waters of the Caribbean Sea and posing a greater threat to the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. What I can say is that, compared to yesterday, there has been a trend in which more members maintain a northeast trajectory for the Caribbean region. We will be watching to see if this trend continues, as almost all of them had it heading towards the Caribbean region yesterday. There's much to observe. At the moment, there is no reason to worry in the Eastern Caribbean. I simply ask that you remain vigilant over the next few days. There is no immediate threat to the local region at the moment. Well, that would be all for today. To stay informed over the next few days, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the red button below the video that says subscribe. Then, click the bell icon to receive notifications when I upload new videos. I hope you all have an excellent weekend, and I'll be back tomorrow with a new forecast update.